Lucas Griscas qui va nous rejoindre à présent, Head of Innovation Policy Division, Ministry of Economy and Innovation of the Republic of Lithuania. Vous avez compris, on passe en anglais. To make a move, like a trip to Lithuania. Do you want to sit? Take a seat, please, Mr. Hi, Mr. Mr. Hi. So welcome here on the Bank Studio. You're the head of Innovation of Policy Division of the Lithuanian Ministry of Economy. Is that yes. right? Yes, Great. That's right. How Lithuanian policy address the promotion of fostering and innovation within the defense sector? Well, so you know, innovation is one of the important roles, one of the most important roles in our, yeah. our job. I'm the main policymaker in the innovation field. And of course, the defense sector, it emerged three years ago, yeah? I guess it was a uh, war in Ukraine. It was like wake up call for the whole Europe. Uh, in Lithuania, we, know, we knew our neighbor. So we were working on this uh, on defense innovation. So I guess you 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 were, were you were working on that before war, right? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. So actually, but in these two years, uh, I guess we done very wide scope of initiatives, a lot of initiatives. For example, we joined NATO Defense Innovation Accelerator, NATO Diana. We have six testing centers in Lithuania where startups can test their uh, products uh, in. Uh, in, for, for example, in biotechnology, ICT, uh, advanced materials, in, 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 in uh, artificial intelligence, and of course we are a part of NATO Innovation Fund. It's a very important part when you want to grow innovation in, in, internationally. And of course we established our new body in innovation agency, it's Miltech Lab. So we are now going to the uh, stronger collaboration, cooperation with our partners from uh, armed forces, for, from universities. For example, we launched uh, innovation vouchers for defense innovations. That's how we bring together scientists, innovators, and military people to find the best solutions for all the defense innovation, how to say, demand, what we need in Lithuania. And for example, uh, this year we had first ever event in Vilnius. It was NATO Innovation Challenge. Uh, the theme was uh, about uh, demining of mine contaminated areas and startup from Lithuania won the first place. And the second place was won by the startup from France. So Lithuania and France... So the, the two first places among the NATO among, countries, among right? Among the 11 finalists. It oh, was okay. more like uh, some, some hundreds of, uh, of, uh, of applicants, uh -huh. 11 finalists. And first place was Lithuanian and second was French. So we can see a lot of par parts, points for collaboration. And I guess uh, the most important, we have uh, this uh, funding for bilateral cooperation. And we seek to build this cooperation with France. So that's why you, you may ensure more or better collaboration yeah. with France, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. And of course, Do you have some projects. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I guess cybersecurity is okay. one of the most important parts now because you can find cybersecurity everywhere in medicine, in telecommunication, in all the, all the, how to say, day to day stuff, you know. So it's very important to be safe in cyber. Uh, so Actually, three weeks ago, we had a very good uh, visit to France. We met uh, Defense Innovation Agency colleagues, uh -huh. uh, colleagues from other parts of the uh, defense ecosystem from France. So now, it was first steps taken. Now we know more about your ecosystem. Yeah. French colleagues know more about our ecosystem. So and it's we like can... an MOU, right? Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. So uh, have uh, hope for better collaboration yeah. for the future. And thank you to be here. Edvinga Griskas, Head of Innovation Policy Division at the Ministry of Economy and Innovation of the Republic of Lithuania. Thank, thank you. Thank you and welcome to France. Merci beaucoup.